The Nietzsche Wild Best. All right. We back, and today we have Eminem with the death of Slim Shady, Coup de Grasse, Amen. New album from Eminem. This is a PSA for any Eminem fans that happen to tap into the video. It is a safe space in a way in where you can state your own opinions freely. But this is not a safe space of we're praising Eminem. It's not that because I, for one, am not a huge Eminem fan. I appreciate his older works. I don't necessarily love them, but I appreciate them for their influence. Past 15 years, what can I say other than pretty, pretty, uh, shaky. I have reacted to Eminem twice on this channel, Music To Be Murdered By, and the side B of that. And, uh, as you expected, it was very, very rough. It was very, very tough to get through both of those projects, um, but we survived. Uh, at the end of it all. So I bet some people are probably wondering why I'm reacting to Eminem. If I, I don't want to say I despise it, it just doesn't work for me. But you're probably wondering, if you don't necessarily love or like Eminem, why are you reacting to his music? Isn't shitting on music kind of weird? Yes, it is. But at the same time, but at the same time, I'm intrigued and curious with this release. Because... Look at the title. What the fuck are we going to do? What, what the fuck is going down right here? Eminem is one of the biggest and commercially successful rappers ever. I feel like with his impact and influence on hip hop and pop culture, it just kind of, it, it, it makes sense too, don't it? Does this mean I'm going to love the project? I have no fucking clue. I have not liked an Eminem project in I don't know how long. So I don't have high hopes. The thing is, I'm not going into this looking to shit on this project. I'm actually praying to God that there is actually some good shit on here. The bar is in hell with his discography, in my personal opinion. Let's just see how this is gonna go. 20 songs, an hour and 10 minutes. This could be a chore to get through, but you know what? At least I gave it a shot instead of just talking shit about it and never even listening to it, you know what I mean? First track we got is Renaissance. Let's get it. Bro, hit it with a hawk to a right away. All right, man. Oh, shit. I don't think that's gangster. <laughs> this shit sounds like straight from Eminem show era. What the fuck? All right. Okay, the nice, nice flow here. Okay. He's starting. Fuck's sake. Bro, it's not that deep. Please, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Again, he's still going with his angle. Literally complaining about fucking haters. What is this? A fucking Hobson album? If he's going to be talking about haters again, like his last fucking two albums, it's going to be a long, long road, man. I will say, there are some positives, though, on that track. All around, track is not bad. Probably his best beat that he's been on in a brick. I do like the kick and the snare on that track. Like, th that shit was banging. Um, then he got into a little pocket right there that was very smooth as fuck. Typical Eminem wordplay on there. I just didn't like how he wrapped that up again. Fuck the haters, fuck the critics. Stop it! Fuck's sake. <laughs> Nobody cares. Just be a niche thing. Just do you and do what you want to do and then have your fans love it. That's it. We're just going to keep it going. I thought that was a decent open though. Keep it pushing. Next track, Habits, featuring White Gold. Let's get it. Or I put a bullet between your fucking eyes. Here. Let's talk about we'll drugs again. Half an out of van, I'm driving straight out of van. In a black sedan, Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. Whoever gets offended, suffer dick and fuck a critic. I'm about to get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It what the fuck? Shut up, words. But I'm still an addict, so it's getting harder. Been calling bitches hoes since a Kenny Gardner. Since Jimmy Carter. I know you can't get rid of me forever, cause you know that I'm okay. a shit. Next time I'll be in your yeah. van. Just a kid from Detroit who knew how to destroy the booth and had a point to prove this. And it seems like men are just off growing a huge clitoris. Pussies, yeah, probably annoyed a few feminists. I remember this is transgender Eminem shit. Bruce Jenner is because I'm not a boy, I'm a man, bitch. Man, bitch. My speech is free, it's his choice to choose gender. Is this shit is like opioid abuse, isn't it? Okay, there's times when I lay down to sleep, I argue with myself. Wow, this is actually the most listenable layered vocals he's dropped in a minute. <laughs> I 
can't remember They of them theirs, his or him hers Into them girls who bought tits to get attention Then get hit on by ugly men who are Not nothing like an evil stepdad I got it in for red like a ginger stepkid who pissed the bed I do this shit in chest it's just with these buttons I'm always pushing Pain I'm always inflicting Protesters outside the shady offices living All right, man, yeah, that one was cool Honestly, one of the better hooks I've her in a while on an Eminem project, so congrats. I thought the topic was actually interesting as well. The whole concept is starting out as kind of Eminem having a huge struggle between Slim Shady and himself, contradicting himself when he's trying to live a different life but always having like Slim Shady as that like devil in the shadow. I kind of see the concept. Hopefully it, it, it flushes out to something much better but I mean that was a cool that was a cool start. Not necessarily in love with the track I do think. Like some of his satirical and absurd things that he says just doesn't land for me anymore. It is what it is at this point but not a terrible track. I can definitely see how like M fans would love that track though. In the beat as well definitely uh had a lot of cool modulations and and uh dynamics on there that made it pretty interesting it wasn't a bad track again it was it was decent it wasn't great by any means uh next track we had is trouble let's get it I said drink it, oh bitch. he's now he's being forced to become fuck, some shady <laughs> fuck, fuck blind people what? and deaf people suck Stop. so do cripples oh. dumb quadra believes oh, 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 oh. it's shady jesus what the fuck oh. here comes marshall to try to clean this up you're gonna cancel me yeah gen z me bro little pussy what's wrong thought you was dreaming huh we need each other get up everybody on a dance floor. it's it's begun now Oh my gosh, and he's talking about Christopher Reeves again on this song, bro. Uh, you know what? Maybe this song could get better. But this literally sounds like something off fucking Encore. Like a shittier, like the beat sounds like a shittier version of Just Like That. Dated ass beats, bro. And talking about Gen Z. What, is he just getting his opinions from fucking millennial and Gen X TikTokers? Is that is that what we're doing? All right, <laughs> let's just go. Just got caught jacking off by your mom. Suspended from school for setting off the alarm. Everybody join together. <laughs> what the shit is this? Superman, Batman, Spider-Man. Slip fell in it in a garbage can. Shit hell them and I can hardly stand, but I get it cracking like no one in the party. If your arms face feet and your hands are numb, you fall and you can't get up. It's a brand new dance. This is my Chris Anthem. I'm giving Chris Reeves his Chris Anthemums. I'ma have everybody jumping it in. Again. Caitlyn Jenner, Christopher Reeves, what are we doing here? <laughs> this song is just pure absurdity at its finest. Kind of cringy. I can't even lie, but we're gonna keep on going. Uh, next track we got is Evil. Let's get it. The flames, who to blame for my screwed up brain? You could say in the beef, I'm a human A to the K. Aww. Hey, little beautiful yeah. pewter gray poodles. How cute are they? Well, looks like them pooches are screwed today. Uh, the fuck? The core fucking twisted cerebral. I'm so evil. So evil. It's obvious that I am not like other people. Feel fucked up for laughing at that kind of phenomenal at it. That's problematic, but if y'all fanatics, maybe I'm your habit. Exact opposite, just like a prostitute when she's getting smacked. I think I just gave Skyla great hepatitis A. But when it's sink or swim, I just say it's not me, it's him. So evil, rotten to the core, fucking twisted cerebral. This song is just fucking boring. Holy shit, Kate Jenner just flipped. Told me not to shit off and quit and get off. Jesus Christ! I stop until everything gets red. Call this sex ed with a splash of necrophilia Cause when I say that I'm really the evilest I'm fucking dead ass Stop Maybe what I need now more than likely is a psychic Stop it's, it's like Habits was him having the internal struggle Then he just caved in into the Slim Shady side And these last like three tracks were just him embracing the Slim Shady alter ego And this shit just doesn't land for me here's what i'll say about emmett the slim shady alter ego it's just the, literally just his intrusive thoughts and i see where he's trying to go with the character artistically but it's kind of given a pass to 
uh, this is going to sound fucking pretentious as shit, but it just comes off as uh, trying to give a pass to fucking conservative rhetoric. <clears throat> not that I even care. Like, I don't give a fuck. It's just not something I want to play. It's fucking edgy. It's fucking South Park humor. Um, that's just how I feel about it. Because I already know the fucking monster drinkers and fucking conservative flag bearers are going to go crazy to this shit. Oh my gosh, they're going to take that as law. Even though Eminem don't want you to take it as law. It's just, you know what I mean? I know people. <laughs> All you got, skit. Let's get it. Going into Lucifer featuring Sly Piper. Because I gave you everything. What? As the people, people. Yeah. Oh, he's just, he just went full forward Slim Shady now. They want me to bounce like a fabric soft thinner. We just got rid of Diego Kickbox. Brother. So they want beef. We can make like Bonnie and Collide. Can meet the same exact okay, thing. that, I'm gonna become a very much a stickler and annoyed now, and I know people are gonna be like, what, what the fuck is, why are you critiquing literally every little thing? I gave props already. The first two tracks were not bad, then we took a fucking nosedive for the worst. But it fucking pains me when someone does a fucking awkward flow just to build up to a bar or like some type of wordplay that is just, does nothing in the grand scheme of things. Like that Bonnie and Clyde, but collide, like, it's a word salad at the end of the day to me. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. All this, like, robot -y staccato flow, it just, it's bad, bad songwriting is bad structure to me. Personally, we're gonna keep going and go with it, but I already am, like, disliking how this is starting off. So hopefully, but hopefully you'll pick up. What you you to respond? <laughs> It seems like he's like recording these at ten different times. Now all I see is dollar signs, losers. Bitch, I was in them trenches like them Columbine shooters. I was down bad, broken, almost a bad. Stop, 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 stop. I liked what you're doing, but then you just took it, took me out of it with the Columbine shit. I liked what he was doing with like the the pills, and all of a sudden the the his voice changed to like no old school you know, Slim Shady shit, then it, then it reverted back, so I, I like, it's creative, it's cool, but then you're, you're losing me with lines like this, you're taking me out, bro. They listen to me, like when Manson spoke, they say I don't know struggle no more, that's a joke, to get a can of coke, and can of soap, I ain't mad at her, I ain't gonna throw the fact, bitch forgot she was black, back at her, laugh at her, like them crackers, she's back and after her back is turning to hamburger patty, or should I say gigantic turk, cause I put that shit to bed like Amber Heard at a mattress firm, but if this is what he do to me, man, what? what? These heights, freedom of speech dies, with every line that I recite, then PC police try to throw me in jail with me to PC police, police. oh. So Oh, brother. Alright, next track we have is Antichrist. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Stop. Fucking PC police. Gen Z hit up, homie, let's slow down. No need to get so well. Ready to throw down. If I miss pro now, whoops, now. Like I'm getting slow, clock. My humor's too low, bro. Yes, it is no doubt. You about to get grossed out. But fuck it though, somebody needs to come and hit the reset. At least he's self aware that his humor is slow, bro, now. But I wasn't so angry. Don't want to see me going off the deep end, like, yeah, yeah. Rather see me do like Kim Kardashian and they say, yeah. And find a way to get rid of all of this rage, eh? But if you wonder why it's Mars, cause I can spit a bar that gives a cross between us. And just a biggie smalls and rizza so hard making a stallion and Nicki Minaj or scissor cut it out. Huh. Still the press is okay. Shady is bill taking the pill and putting it in your soft drink. Something's off and I don't know what the cost be. But it's obvious it's water rhyme and it's scalding. I'm in a stall creep in my head. I'm halfway through this shitty song. The reason why it's mostly shitty is because this beat fucking blows. And every beat up to this point has either been terrible or fucking boring. What are these 2K ass generic ass beats, bro? What did you drop Ted in my lap? You call that head? I suck my dick, pet it in you. Yeah, I'm sick like huh? the of can't be nice. Look who's talking, dog. Like Brian from Family Guy. <laughs> but who else is as pitiless, actually witty, and as hideous, ghastly, and insidious, as beat, worse than Diddy did. 
Huh? Bro, what, what's up with Eminem and his love for necrophilia? Oh, it's Slim Shady. I don't give a fuck. Evil twin. Slim Shady's just an extension of Eminem. Come on now. I don't care anymore. Jada, bring out the will in you. Uh, you still have a minute left of this song? Jesus. Who the fuck is that? What the fuck is going on here? No. I'ma skip this shit. I swear to God. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired. I'm getting lethargic. I need a breath of fresh air. Cause last strikes have been <laughs> taking the life out of me. I can't even fly. The the wordplay on that one was like the most wittiest up to this point, I will say. But still, it, his his humor doesn't hit, man. The humor just doesn't hit. And at least he's self aware that it, it it doesn't hit. But he's just doing him, which I respect. It's cool. Um, a lot of the a lot of the absurdity does have a lot more nuance than his last album, I will say. Like his last album just a lot of the shit was just unfunny. Like he would say a bunch of like fucking wacky wordplay and whatnot and it's like it wasn't funny and it was actually like really, really cringe. This shit right here is like it's bad, it's cringe, but like at least it like m it makes sense. I'm trying to like pull strings of like positive positive things to say, but like, all the positivity just went out the window once once Trouble came on. Like, he, he fully went away from the concept. I thought this shit was going to be interesting. It got, you know, it, it got interesting on Lucifer again, but then it just went the opposite direction again. Yeah, and the bizarre feature at the end. Leave him in 2000, bruh. Let's go on to the next track. Fuel, featuring J.I.D. Okay, hopefully this will bring, bring things back up, because we need it. Bad. We're on track nine out of fucking twenty. Dear God, this feels like an eternity. All of my niggas gonna ride with it in a pocket, the rocket like killing mom. Mama told me the power was in a tongue, but it probably ain't powerful as a gun. All of you little cowards get devoured. I'm giving out flowers to any rich modern. I've been spending some time with the minister. Cause them niggas finish it and still sinning in the city of God in the sinister. Try to pray in the synagogue. He can do him for plus eight without a court date. Talk the other day, he said he doing okay. He good, he gained and waiting. Got a sharp shake he made. He say they play, they gotta partake. Homie got a heart full of hate. Oh my God, what the fuck? Get to the basket, get the cash, and cut a look, cover up, but the love better up. This is the best verse of the album. Shout out, Jid. Fuck's sake. This beat is fucking, fucking generic YouTube type beat, but. He f didn't forget the P, P Diddy, P Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy, huh? Fuck. That was his best line of the album. I'll give him that. I like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him that. It's a word salad, don't get me wrong. But he's saying a lot of nothing just to say, you know, Diddy is, you know what I mean? But it was cool. It was cool. I like it. That's the only way you're gonna be killing me. Ain't gonna be on no beat. Uh, this is the best track. This is, yeah. He's, he's, he's cooking. He's cooking. Yeah. No, that, that's how I feel listening to your album. He's still going. This is this is the best track of the album by far. Like the the beat wasn't all that, 
I will, I will say that shit sounded like a fucking garage band beat that you hear off YouTube or beat stars. Like, they cooked. <laughs> 100%. Like, fucking JID fucking murked that. Um, then Eminem had, he pulled it off. I will say that that whole stanza, I fuck with that. That was cool. Let's keep it going. Next track we got is Road Rage. This rap shit divided by panty lines. Mm. Which side are you on? Pussy. Social media got you fucking in Panama. Then my aunt Linda's man friend, a black transgender clan member who's a Caitlyn Jenner fan in a what? member of Grinder and Tinder. Head MD is in the band. In the well, this beast trash. <laughs> Could I say some shit so mean? They're trying to make my mouth close like it's clothing. It's what it is though, but this is show. Oh, is so brother. Mean. Ain't never gonna have the chains. Pick up a way to eat less than price. Make your blood pressure rise as it starts increasing. All that starts in grease and clogged in good. So call me Abe Lincoln. Cause I'll be honest, I can flip and they blink in. All I need is one little road rage Stop. reason. Stop. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Jesus Christ. The wordplay is like, I see it. But it's not, it's not good. Raise your hand if you're shoving food in your mouth at this moment. But if you're mad, cause they're clowning you for pounding them donuts. Put them down and either do something about it or own it. Own it. Okay. Is this just like a diss track on fat people? Like... What are we, 12? Way I feel, uh, but if I say it will, hmm. it get be canceled. Yep, my music get banned, what? or can what? it withstand? No. The shit huh? is quicksand. Oh. Speaking his mind like it was his mouth. Huh? You wish he'd grow up and not be so juvenile. Uh, I'm skipping that track. This shit fucking sucks. And it's talking about shit that... Who cares? Who cares? Oh, this is irritating me. The beat sucks. The content doesn't matter. I see him... Fucking the, the the slim shady character in in Eminem fucking fighting each other, having the internal struggle, but he's just yapping about nothing. Next track we got is Houdini. Album. Good fucking luck. You're on your own. This makes sense that this is the lead single. If I was to ask for making the stallion if she would collab with me, would I really have a shot at a feat? I don't know, but I'm glad to be back. Stop. Stop. It's a patient trophy. I have zero doubts that this whole world's about to turn into some Girl Scouts. Why is he using like old ass fucking pop hooks for this song? <laughs> this one's cool. One of the more least offensive tracks on here, I will say. Stop. I wish the beat had more going for it. I feel like the beat was just kind of pretty stagnant, but it was actually definitely one of the surprisingly stronger beats on the project. The, the fucking absurd lines on here, the way he delivered them, he delivered those a lot better to where they're not as bad. They seem a lot more tongue-in-cheek. I will say, like, that one, like, some of the lines on there... Uh, yeah, okay. I, I chuckled. I can't even lie. Like, it, it's stupid. It's it's literally just stupid. More the route that I felt like he should have gone for a lot of this project, I feel like. Um, a lot more lighthearted, but um, that one has probably the most nuance when it comes to the absurd shit that he says on this project. That one was, that one was just fine. Not great by any means. Um, is breaking news and then t into guilty conscience too. All right. Music Detroit rapper Eminem in a stunning move has released an album in which he is actually trying to cancel himself. Man, what the I know the it's fucking downtown. stupid. Mental disabilities, transgender rights, and the First Amendment. Well, we did it now. So I'm right. guessing. It's beautiful, ain't it? Yeah, yep. I, I I kind of guessed this was going to happen. The guilty conscience is between him and Slim Shady. First one was Slim Shady versus Dr. Dre, now it's Eminem versus Slim Shady. Okay. Never. Why does it feel like I'm always being tortured? The bad apple spoils the whole orchard. Used to read comic books to learn more. Work. Meaning nerd to the core, till I'm cornered. Then I'm the corner. What Jesus. shot is this? Coming back and now transgenders attack us frontwards and backwards. They laugh and throw midgets at us. This ain't no dream now, huh? See what I mean now? You see how? Well, okay, you want a fat shame, bitch. Two can play that game. What? You want to judge people. Yeah. Matter of fact, ain't you the same one who hated bullies calling you bad names? Yep. Then you turn around and did the exact same. 
Oh, bitch, it's a joke. No, it's not, it's embarrassing. Why? Like David Carradine found with a pair of jeans at his ankles uh, and belt around his larynx. I know it's a scary scene, he and you. I think they've had it come to here with me, too. The fuck? Sorry, I'm not perfect. What? When I say fuck midgets, I mean Ja Rule. Oh. And I know that Chris Reeves' song was recorded in 2004 for Encore. Yeah. Fuck you take it off for. Cause he died, bitch. Look at all the Okay, shit so it's all tied together the why he did the brand new dance you shit. Me? Still ass. <laughs> Why? I'm who you used to be, who? The you who didn't crumble under the scrutiny. Wait, what? Staring back, bitch, uh -huh. it's just a mere relax. Man, you're so full of shit. You need mere relax. What? Open your mouth, the <laughs> shit flies out. I bid you goodbye. Come on, man, don't Murder, do this. suicide, way. kill shot. Pull your car, cocksucker. Who the grass, motherfucker? So he had a bad dream. Killed off some shady yeah, in his oh. dream. You're not gonna hide this dream. It was fucking crazy. It was like the old me came back on the new me and took over my brain and had me saying all this fucked up shit about little people and Caitlyn Jenner and PC police were chasing me and Christopher mm. Reeves and I'm saying all this fucked up shit Ooh. and I couldn't stop saying uh, There you go. There, there's the concept right there. To me, still doesn't give it a pass for any of the shit that was talked about on any of those songs. The beats were still shit and... Uh, but here we go. All right. That was probably like... I like the back and forth between M and Slim and all that cool whatnot um killed him off at the end beat was still ass um but the idea of it was cool i liked it uh we're, we're on track 14 out of 20 i just want to get through this now okay maybe the maybe the concept's all over now or maybe it isn't i don't know head honcho featuring easy easy mill Okay. My chest and I'm trying to strap it with numbers. All you hoes got your checks, but I'm a queen when I run up across the dinami rami mumma le utak mulang my tama sa kiki mumma kisi pare la kamalang na banat naglalim la lima nan sarap mong ilo blub sa dagat di ka lang We get in Spanish up in here. Wow, this shit is ass. This is actually the worst song on the album. This is fucking YouTube rapper level right here. Who's that one oh, YouTube rapper who looks just like Eminem or tries to be Eminem? But it's literally the same type of energy. What the fuck is this? Or maybe just have never had to face any adversity. Back two twins, they call themselves the Bulldogs. White kids and fat. I was too frightened to scrap. I didn't fight a hit back. And you won. Yep, uh, that that song was fucking terrible. <laughs> uh, temporary featuring Skylar Gray. Oh brother, what we don't need? Another fucking Skylar Gray hook. To say all the things I want to say to you. Oh when brother. To take away the dark sky. Say, look after Elena, Stevie, and Uncle Nate, and sweetie, be strong. be strong. I know I was your rock, and I still am. Saying goodbye is just not ever easy. When saying still, you will remain strong. Haley, just hang on. It won't be too long. I need you to move on, and remember, it will get better. This time heals, and when. All right, that track. I like what he's talking about. I really like the the essence of the track. I really don't want to. I really don't want to say anything negative about it because of just how how of an important song that is to him and to his family. But I will say it does sound like a typical, you know, generic Hallmark ass song. But that you or someone that you hear off of fucking Facebook fucking rap. Eminem's writing could have been such more more poetic stuff, but it was just so base level. Okay, next track we got is Bad One featuring White Gold. What? But yeah, my head up in the sky again. But even that my stacks are higher than money pile like Tony Starks. That's how much I earn, man. Guilty Conscience 2 should have been actually the last track and then everything else is just fucking filler. Nice. Cuz that's what it feels right now. That's what it feels like right now, man. With Aaron Hall cuz I just love the fuck with you. A liner blush, foundation kit. Cuz it's you. I make up set. Brain is dead. Space cadet like when Ye forgets to take his meds. So when they get shit Shady Can't believe you fucking say that. He is allergic to good beats. My God. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm over the shit where he's talking about. I say this shit, but it's not me. It's Slim Shady. Could have left that off the album. 
This album should have been 13 tracks. Next track we got is Toby featuring Big Sean and Baby Tron. I swear to fucking God, if he raps Big Sean and Baby Tron, I'm going to lose my shit. Toby McGuire got bit by a spider, but see, me, it was a goat. If you want space, I hope you take your helmet off soon as you get up to Venus and choke. Even while sleeping, be thinking so woke. Why Cardi ears all I'm seeing Venus and choke. Even while sleeping, be thinking so woke. Why Cardi ears all I'm seeing is dope. My city Leia and I'm Obi Wan got a mission to pass. I just might be the hoe. Gamble and I'm playing slots, pull it down, close my eyes, and I pray I win tokens. All walk, no pop, how we drop. You can come and take okay. a baby sip, still take. To the beat built up to nothing. What the fuck is going on here? They wanna bleed me and leave me to act like they need me, but this beat is the generic fucking monster drinker Eminem fan, bro. We don't want chips with a chip on our shoulder. If he will be one and I gotta be Yoda, don't need no promoter. We pull up, they know us. I'm not told a snatch of your control. For me, you just need to take home. I could paint a picture like I made this thistle. Fuck your whole image. I'm a cold bin it. I don't know. Hey, coming from both directions, bitch. Oh my gosh. Bitch, I'm fucking wiping this track. Oh my god. Bitch, I done slept on my floors in the Empire State building. I got so many stories, but I hate ceilings. Ain't filling your top five favorite rappers. So I know they about to be treat me just like poison. They can eat me and die. Middle finger stuck up, but I never conceded whenever I ever retreated. You never seen it every dream that I ever dreamt I exceeded team at my legacy got definitely needed controversy Bro got a King Kniff skit That's fucking crazy Half a bag of Viagra I'm gonna reach around and grab ya I forgot to laugh Ha 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 Toby Big Sean had the best verse on there He fucking washed everybody Beat Again Sleepy M's verse, word salad, baby Tron had a very very corny hook. Yeah, I got nothing much to say other than that, man. Let's just get this album over with. You can see that the my life essence has been fucking sucked away from me because this album is an hour and ten minutes. It feels like an eternity. Because um, I, I'm gonna leave my thoughts to then. I'm gonna leave my thoughts to then. Or actually, it's the final track. Somebody save me. Featuring Jelly Roll, why? Another pill as I start the spiral. Message to my daughters, I don't bear from my hell. Uh, this is definitely a white people way of the man. And, oh man, radio gonna eat this shit up right here. The millennial fucking white people. That, that was a cool ending though, I will say. Well, alright, there you have it. Uh, the Death of Slim Shady, uh, by Eminem. Yeah, this album's bad, but I mean, like, I guess uh, he went from shit to a booger. He went from trash to fucking terrible. I don't know what other analogies to use, but that's what I would say. This is his best album since Marshall Mathers LP2. Shoot, and if, if, if Marshall Mathers LP2 hasn't aged as well as I remember, then shit, this might be his best album since Relapse. Yeah, I mean, there's nuances throughout this project that I feel like Eminem really found the plot, and, and there's ideas that is like, yes, this is it. Let me emphasize, they're ideas. Now, were they executed properly? No. I just feel like from a songwriting standpoint to an artistic standpoint, it's not that good. Even from a sequencing standpoint, this album isn't even good. There's little light things throughout, even nostalgic looks, I guess, um, that definitely make this album better. But for the most part, man, like this album kind of just whatever to me. It's mediocre. Um, it's not good. It's pretty bad. In that same token, I do see how Eminem fans would love this project. And me seeing the appeal of this project, that's that's a win, in my opinion. The reason is, is because his last, like, three projects, I don't know how anybody could like those projects. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. This right here, I can see how someone can like it. And honestly, this is actually a good swan song for the character of Slim Shady and just for something for his fans. This album is not for me at all. I get that. If I was in an Eminem fan shoes, I'm pretty sure I'd like this because it's very, very nostalgic and, it's, and it shows a lot of, you know, areas that are reminiscent of a time where you couldn't touch Eminem because he would just... He was just always on the top when it came to cultural influence. Fucking, he was everywhere. But for me, as a listener and as a as a fan of music, Eminem has still yet to drop a fucking tolerable project since fucking Eminem show. This is just another another 
thing of scraps to me. I will say there are some highs on here that definitely not bad. Like Renaissance and Habits, good start to the project. You lose me once you get from Trouble down to through Antichrist. Um, that whole area, what the fuck is going on, man? Terrible beats, terrible fucking songwriting. Like it's. It's just not good. You can see the, the concept booting up with each song and whatnot. Um, but it just wasn't executed well to me. Like I said earlier, like the absurd things that he says, the satire just doesn't fucking hit. Fuel is probably the best song on the project. Jid ripped it apart and Eminem fucking delivered. Um, then Guilty Conscience, I think it, it, it wraps up the concept very, very well, even though the beat fucking blows. It sounds like an NF beat. I think the battle between Eminem and Slim Shady is pretty good, and then how he wakes up and snaps out of a dream. I thought it wrapped up pretty well. As a song, it's like, it's not something I'm gonna return to. Then from that on, like, head honcho down to the rest of the, to the end of the album, this thing is just fucking filler. Either yap rap or fucking, uh, Facebook hip hop music. I, I get the concept, or some shady kind of haunting Eminem. I think there's some different nods where he, you have some verses that sound like they're like 20 years old because they have like a totally different inflection. That's a kind of a cool aspect as well. As a, as a project as a whole, or as a concept at least, I just feel like it was just not executed that well. It was just pretty safe, and not that he could have gotten a little more ambitious on there because I just don't think Eminem is that type of artist at the end of the day. Well, I don't know what I'm, what I wanted more, but it was just like the whole concept could have just, he, he didn't really do anything. I think he just kind of used it as a pass just to say fucking stupid shit. Death of Slim Shady. Feeling, this is how I'm feeling on it. I'll leave it at that. Um, I'm asleep now because, uh, wow, this, this music is fucking melatonin for me. All right, see you on the next one.